Hello everyone. Whoa, good news. Holy crap. This is the first version to finally fix map data. Holy crap. Sorry, I'm sorry I'm speechless everyone. Wow. I, I was not expecting that because we literally just came back on this road. So 10.6.1 added new map data. I'm pretty sure unless, unless, I, I will confirm um, by the time I edit this if this is the case. I ju literally just say I spent 15 minutes home and I'm going back out. Um, perhaps that I kept the speed limit from when I drove in my driveway and then drove back out. And had, since the car hadn't gone fully to sleep, kept the speed limit. Hopefully that's not the case and hopefully it actually got the proper uh, map data now. But we'll see, uh, we'll see. I'm actually gonna cancel this navigation route here so we can go straight uh, where this is our curvy mountain road test, if you will. Uh, and we'll see how this does. Very good slowdown here, very typical. And we are slowing for this car. See, it comes to a complete stop, which is it's not a stop sign, it's a yield sign. I don't know why they've changed yield signs to be stop signs, and it, that almost certainly was a hard programming change. Uh, almost, I think every single yield is now a stop sign, essentially. And again, this speed limit sign changes way too late. The only reason we're slowing down at an appropriate speed is because of this car in front of us. What's it doing? Wow. Um, it completely just decided to stop there and then like decided, oh, I need to change lanes, but there's no lane to change. It's never done that before. In 500 feet, then like that. To US oh, it's gonna to come to a complete six. stop for some reason. Again, right there. It's gonna come to a complete stop. I'm guessing the only difference is this really harsh sun is what's causing it. The sun is beaming right at the camera right now. And it's probably a really harsh glare before, which is why it was stopping prematurely like that. Almost certainly that was why it was that was happening. Yeah, everyone, this harsh sun is coming from this direction here and beaming and refracted against the glass, and it is causing a lot of issues. I can I can only imagine it's a very harsh glare, especially because I think the, uh, the glass up there is probably dirty as well. I'm gonna give my windshield a thorough cleaning. I'm not, I'm not gonna use the wiper unless I have to, just because the windshield wiper fluid will uh, destroy my wax that's on the uh, paint of the car. Uh, so I will manually clean the windshield myself. Also, the speed limit went up to 55, which is no longer 55, and now we're going too fast around this curve. I stayed in its lane there, but still really hesitant with the cars. Okay, that's going to be a disengagement. Um, it seems very, very delayed reaction for some reason. I, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's just something isn't right with this. I think it's just it. The only explanation I have is this very, very harsh sun we have here. And that's what's causing it to freak out like this. Like this. It just breaks really hard right here. Like right there. The phantom braking I'm 90% certain it's due to the leaves off, being off the trees now. Everyone's had phantom braking because the leaves are off the trees. Uh, and we just got beta last year, you know, with the leaves off the trees. So the, like, phantom braking was, like, I guess expected. Maybe just, maybe as the leaves got back on in the spring, we just kind of thought, oh, look, phantom braking's getting better. 
um, or something kind of coinc uh, was coincidental with um, version 9 where it went to vision only so it was like oh well maybe everything's going better and in reality it's because the leaves got back on trees trying to stop for the stop sign here it was definitely trying to do that and not just slow down for this corner this time I'm gonna tell it to get on the right side of the road here having to make it go quicker it just I was I got so spoiled due to the night the first night drive that did so well going around curves in the rain and at night that I'm just like this is not good at all and it's because almost certainly because of the harsh shadows it's just very not confident very unconfident about um if it should keep on going or not i kind of wish they would tweak something to make the car like more confident and you know slightly more reckless if you will instead of being overly cautious and constantly break just like let the human make up for it and like just like make the experience a little bit better and make us just pay attention to where if it's going to do something stupid we'll correct it but don't just constantly phantom break and like nine times 99 times out of 100 the phantom break is useless it's not it's for nothing let's see if it still does this naturally and we have cars coming so it needs to stop right here excellent previous updates would not have stopped for that and they would have tried to gone out into traffic. They've done a lot of work in the last three months or so, six months. I wish I wouldn't floor it onto the highway here. Like, this is basically full acceleration. But yeah, I see in the last, definitely last six months, um, they've done excellent work on unprotected less. And I have to believe, thanks to Lisa and thanks to Chuck Cook, I'm, yeah, we're not, no need to get in the left lane here. Uh, thanks to Chuck Cook, especially doing the left turn test, uh, he uh, pinpointed a huge problem and he did that test over and over and over again. It's one of the most popular ones uh, that everyone loves to see, uh, see how it does. And uh, the car has gotten significantly better in the last six months at doing that test. And I've noticed substantially any unprotected less I have are substantially better, especially in the last like five updates, have gotten way better. Let's see how it gets off this exit here. It needs to slow down more. It's already slowed down the 55 right before the exit gets off. That's I don't get why it does that. It speeds back up and then slows back down. It's like, look at this, it's gotta be between 35 and 40. It doesn't know what to do. Wow, that, I've never seen that before. Fortunately, it didn't cause any issues. Um, so this was a two just, well, yeah, we're gonna go. This is a two disengagement drive, everyone. Um, just strictly because the second one wasn't really necessary, but I'm just like, since I had the first one, I'm gonna go ahead and correct it. See if we can get that turn a little bit better. Uh, the first one was uh, definitely necessary. Uh, just, uh, I, I'm gonna blame it on the harsh sun. Uh, this, this type of lighting shouldn't affect it. Like, I can drive in this as much as it kind of hurts my eyes. Uh, and so should the car. It's not an excuse. Uh, if you have any questions about this drive, anything else I have, or anything like that, let me know down in the comments down below. If you really enjoyed this video and you want to see more, go ahead and give me a subscribe. And if you really enjoyed it and everything was good, go ahead and give me a like as well. I appreciate everyone watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.